Quality management, we can inspect the material based on the inspection plan or using the material specification. Material specification is an, another master data which can be used for inspecting the material. Here also we can assign different MICs to be tested, the sampling procedure to be used for the calculation of the sample size. But it is much simpler compared to the inspection plan. Single material specification can be used for all the plants which are present. We are maintaining a material specification at the client levels. In single row, we can add all the things like what will be the MICs to be tested, what is the version for it. There are free prerequisites like the MIC which you are assigning here in the material specification should be either a reference characteristics or the complete copy model MIC. Automatic batch valuation is also possible. The appropriate settings are maintained. Results can be transferred automatically to the batch class. MM60, enter any raw material and execute it. And I can take one material. One double two one. Let me open another session. MM zero two one double two one. Enter quality management view is not there. So let me activate quality management view. One double two one. Enter and I am activating quality management view in this. Plant is 1000 and in the inspection setup, I am activating inspection type 89. Just activate it, click on details. These are the details which are maintained for it. And here you can see inspection with the task list is there and inspection with the material specification is there. So if I am using a inspection plan, then this checkbox should be checked. Material specification. I press F1 key here on this maintain at the client level. And if there are multiple plants, then we can use the same material specification for all the plants. Selecting material specification for this. Continue saying that for this material, there is no material specification created at present. Continue. And it is asking us to check the customizing table for 89. Okay, continue. Let's save it. Okay. Slash in. Let me show you first my MIC QS23. Enter. Plant is 1000 and MIC is weight and it is a quantitative MIC. And when you want to use the MIC in a material specification, then it should be a complete copy model or it should be a reference characteristics. We cannot use an incomplete copy model MIC in the material specification. So I'm using complete copy model in this and the quantitative data since i am selecting complete copy model i have to maintain the quantitative data in this information like the decimal places i have kept two decimal places measuring unit as grams and the 324 as a lower limit and upper limit is 326 and the target value i have kept it as 325 okay in my MIC, it's, and the control indicator for this is upper lower limit uh, target value I have specified, sampling procedure, single result recording, required characteristics, remaining controls are default only. We want to use a automatic batch valuation option, then we can assign the 
class characteristics here and the results will be automatically assigned to the patch class also. Okay. But at present, when keeping it simple, save it. Uh, QS61 is used to create the material specification. This is my material 1221 and either you press enter key or click on characteristics. You can enter the plant. See, 1000 is my plant and the MIC just now I have shown you which is paid. So I am entering that. Enter. No reference is available for this MIC. My MIC is a complete copy model and if you click on this it will show you the MIC detail what all data we have maintained it control indicators for it and the quantitative data we have maintained is this let's go back and if you click on this details icon it will show you the complete details of this line item like uh, the decimal places which we have specified for the MICs, what are, what is the unit, what are the specification for it. If I enter the sampling procedure also in this, select, say fix sample, press enter key. It is asking me to check the base unit for measurement. It is taking it as one, okay. Let me keep it as it is. It's taking it in pieces, okay? And let's save it. Now, if I create a manual inspection log for the same material, slash in QA01, enter. This is the material. Provision is 89. And quantity, I'm keeping it as 15. The lot size has been calculated as 10 and then click on save. So if we go for the result recording for the same, wait, let me show you. Uh, if we go for the inspection lot, here in the inspection specification, you can see material uh, specification, uh, this checkbox is checked, inspect with the material specification. Okay, and if you click on this display material specification, it will show you the detail of the material specification, which we have just now created and for display it is QS62. QS61 is used for create and change both and QS62 is for display. So let me go back. Normally, if we are using an inspection plan, then uh, the plan details comes like the group and the group counter details will come. Okay, so let's save it and we can do the result recording for the same. And I am just entering some values here in this case. In all, same here I can enter say 327. Okay, let's close it. It's accepted, save it, and then we can do the usage decision for the same and enter the UD code for it. Press enter key and then save it. So this is how you can use it, uh, the material specification. If we want to see the display mode of it, QS62, enter, and this is the material. The transaction is in display mode now see the details like the inspection characteristic if the class characteristics are assigned we can see the class characteristics also all materials are present where the material specification has been created slash in se16n enter and the table which is used is qmsp the table for the material specification either you can enter the name of the material for which you are searching or you can simply execute it it will show you how many uh, material specifications are created so far two materials are there mm02 enter and this is the material enter quality management 
you. Okay, the plant is different. So let me select the plant. It is double one, double zero. In the inspection setup, for inspection type 04, inspection with the material specification is selected. Material specification for that same material, I can go to QS62, enter, and the material is this, press enter key. These are the MICs which are assigned like the density and the viscosity. If you click on it, the specifications which are maintained. If you want to see the control indicator details, so click on control indicator display. It will show you the details which are maintained for the control indicator. If you click on sampling procedure, it will take you to the sampling procedure which is used for calculating the sample of lot. Let me close this. Let me select this and if I click on inspection characteristics, MIC is density. In the quantitative data, this is the data maintained. If we uh, select the class characteristics, if it is maintained, then click on this. It is showing me that density characteristics is created and these are the details which are maintained. Automatic batch valuation is also possible. Select this. Here you can see the class uh, characteristics density is assigned in the MIC. And if you click on this, it will take you to the characteristics detail for it. And these settings we are maintaining in the configuration uh, for it. If I press F1 key and uh, it will take me to the configuration if I select without specification quality inspection. Here we maintain the default settings for the inspection type and select this, click on details. So here you can find that uh, there are three options that inspection with the task list, inspection with the specification and inspection according to the configuration. You can select inspection by the specification if you want to use material specification.